Hi, I'd like to give you a demonstration on how to measure propeller pitch. Now this is just a quick, basic, simple way of measuring propeller pitch. Um, it's in a more professional environment. We'd do multiple measurements across the face of the blades. Uh, we'd also bring other factors into it and we'd average those measurements out to give us an end result. But for this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to show you how to do a quick and simple way of measuring propeller pitch. Um, ideal if you had no identification marks on the propeller. Uh, or else if you just pulled your boat out of the water and your propeller's badly damaged and your friend said, look, oh, I've got a couple of propellers here, I'm not sure how close they are, at least you can do a bit of a comparison to see what they are. Um, so let's look at propeller terminology. Uh, this is a, a 13 by 17 inch pitch propeller. It's marked on the back. That was easy. So 13 by 17. So 13 inches is the circle diameter this propeller would fit into from tip to tip. Now measuring the propeller diameter is a bit tricky on a three blade because if it was a four blade we could measure from tip to tip. With a three blade we can't measure from tip to tip. So we'd measure the radius uh, being two times the radius equals the diameter. So we go from the center to the tip and that's six and a half inches which, which gives us 13 inch overall diameter. Now the second marking on this one is 17 which is 17 inches which is our pitch. So 17 inches is theoretically how far it would travel in one revolution or over 360 degrees. So what do we need to measure the propeller pitch with? Well what we need is a nice flat sheet of glass, um, we'll need a, a right angle square, we need to go to my website, you'll find a, a program there that you can enter these measurements into, plus you can also download these templates. Now these templates are ideal to save you drawing circles. Uh, we've got a basic template which is ideal for the little propellers to, to fit onto. So I just put that little propeller right in the centre, of course I look over the top and make sure she's central. But for now, and then we just measure the height of the blades at what diameter we want to measure it at. So template one's ideal for that. The second template is 180 degrees and gives me diameters up to 15 inches. You can print two of those if you like and put a propeller on that and then you, you can measure at any point you want on the blade. But the one I prefer, or the easiest one I find, is going to for this experiment, I'm just going to show you how to measure one blade. is a, is a 90 degree right angle, which is template three. Pretty simple way of doing it. We're just going to put that propeller right in the centre of that mark, and we're going to hang that blade over that arc. So where are we going to measure the propeller at? Basically, as a general rule of thumb. A three blade propeller is measured at approximately two thirds of its diameter and on a four blade it's measured at three quarters of its diameter. Having said that, yeah, um, this being a 13 inch diameter propeller, uh, it's basically two thirds is, is 8.5, 8.6 inches. So we're going to measure this at nine. We, we can measure at whatever diameter we want to measure it at using this little template here. But just to, to have an average location, uh, two thirds would, is where we're going to measure today at. I'm going to measure this at nine inch diameter. I'm going to make sure that propeller's dead center to that template. And also, when you print these templates out, make sure your printer doesn't resize them. Um, just, just measure the arcs and make sure they are exact. Otherwise, it's going to knock all your measurements right out. Okay, I'll zoom in and we'll have a bit of a closer look at this one. So let's make sure this propeller is central on that template. Make sure the blade is over the arc. This is marked to 15 inch diameter. And we're going to measure at 9 inch. So 9 inch is our measuring diameter. We're going to put that right angle square on the 9 inch and we're going to put a mark just there. Now I'm going to measure this height. This height is our longest height 
and that height is 125. So that'll go into C. Well, obviously I'm working back to front here, we should have done the shortest height first, but it doesn't really matter which, which height you do first. So I'll do a mark on the circumference there at 9 inch diameter. And I'll measure that height, and that height is 58 millimetres, which is at B. So at this point we can take the propeller away, and I can measure from there to there. And that's 107 millimetres, so 107 millimetres. So I've got all the measurements now. I'll just tap all those in. Okay, so the end result here is 17.013 inches of pitch. Okay, so that's basically what the propeller is, a 17 inch pitch propeller. I'm just going to give you a bit of an idea as to what we're doing here. We're going to draw a line right to the centre point. Another line right to that centre point. Another one across here. Okay, so if we talked about 360 degrees being the full circle, we're looking at here how far it would drop in that many degrees, which if it dropped that far in that many degrees, say for example if we dropped one inch in 36 degrees, let's make it easy for us. So one inch at 36 degrees, that would mean in 360 degrees it would drop 10 inches of pitch. Pretty simple. Putting the propeller back here again, and as I said earlier, we can, we can then measure it Make sure it's central as much as you can, as close as you can. Okay, so we can do multiple measurements and just change these measurements here to suit what we want. So we measure the height. Just go quickly here. Just to give you an idea, mark and circumference. So for every diameter we're working at, that bottom angle changes. So the different angles coming through here the different diameters and the different widths of the blade. So you can do multiple measurements if you like. I'm not going to do it just here now, just the one for now, just to give you the example. Okay, so you can see how all those different measurements will change. If we know that distance down and how far across that is on that circle, well then we'll know how far it will travel in one revolution. Okay, I hope all that made sense. Send us an email if um, you'd like some more information, um, but that's basically how to measure a propeller in a simple, quick and dirty way basically. Thanks for watching.